Hello and welcome, it's Howard from HDS Electrical and today we are doing a review, unpaid, unsponsored, bought by ourselves, the Velocity Pro Gear Rogue 3.0 Medium Tote. Fair bit of money for Mikey as I mentioned in another video on New Tool Saturday or something like this, but it is quality. He's earned it, he's really been working his nuts off for us and I think it's gonna save him time because Mikey's only problem is his bag and his van's a mess. You wouldn't think it to look at his perfect, near as you can get it to perfect work that he owned the same van and bag, but we're working on it. But yes, the man that produces some of the most stunning work I've seen is a messy fucker in his van. So this is one of the aims to try and help him with that. So his bag is a tote bag, it's got a million tools shoved in. I went to use it the other day, had to empty out half the bag just to find that the tool I was looking for wasn't even in there. So great, and then I had to put it all back, which is great when you're doing it on a dust sheet in a customer's house. I wasn't, I was doing it on, in an extension, but you know, image, image helps as well. You know, if someone comes to your door with messy bag or customer sees you outside and you've got a messy van, or they see someone with a clean bag and a clean van, who are they initially gonna be more trusting with? It's obviously the person who keeps their stuff nice and clean and tidy because it looks more professional. So once Mikey gets going, then you know there's no looking back. They can't fault what he says or what he does or his attention to detail or how clean he leaves jobs afterwards. It's just his messy bag that drives me up the wall. So I got him this because he's been working his nuts off. We also have, I bought years ago, a Vito XXL tote bag. Big mistake. Why was it a big mistake? Because it's too good. So with this, you've got a lot of compartments. You can stand all your tools upright and they hold. So this is the reason I've got it for him. He can put all his tools nice and easy to follow, see where they are, grab them out, no more big van mess. That's the plan. Now the Vito tote bag's about that long. Similar principle, you stand all your tools up. I think it was 250 quid the other one when I got it about seven, eight years ago. I don't know what the price of them are now. Fantastic bags. Now the problem we found is when you've got a bag that big and you can so perfectly fit so many tools in, you don't want to lift it up. Trust me, we ended up taking half the stuff out just to make it enjoyably manageable and it, then it just looks like a big empty sad bag. So just for me, depending on what you're using, we've gone with a bit smaller bag this time and everyone on the electrician's talk group was raving about these we sometimes check like the electronic screwdrivers a lot of money is it worth it when we checked in everyone was ranting and raving about how good these were so we went ahead and got it so let me take you through the bag unpacking hard leather edges hard base reinforced uh, riveted if that's the term kind of manufacturing double stitched really tough solid grips you can just look and feel and see its quality presumably that might be for your tapes i don't know i haven't checked lovely design got a lot of pockets on the side once again reinforced tops i got a cheaper tote bag and a it doesn't hold its structure so well especially the middle pockets and the sides fold in but it was cheap i wasn't expecting miracles from a cheap tote bag backo quite nice good for the money um because price difference is off the scale compared to this but you get what you pay for this fantastic pockets inside so you can have your Various screwdrivers, nice and easy to get to, nice and easy to see. Cutters, tin snips, level, something else electricians use that I can't think of off the top of my head. You know, hammer in there maybe, hammer in your tote, chisels, files, hacks or whatever you want. You can stand them up and just get to them easily. This is one feature I like, solid handle. Now my tote bag, my cheaper tote bag, has actually started buckling there and bending. I haven't even got it that loaded up. 
So this one, those are some solid locking reinforced ones. Nice padded shoulder strap, reinforced leather ends. That doesn't look like it's gonna be failing anytime soon. Clicks on easy. I'm not gonna click the other side because it's gonna get in the way of this demonstration. This is one thing I like. I'm not sure if it's useful or not, but I like it. Big deep pocket in here. Big deep container. So that would be handy for a little container. Maybe keep Wagos or something in. Maybe you could keep some assorted bits in but I'm sure there's a use we can think of that. Like maybe your hammer, your chisels, just some bits for some fine, you know, chiseling out some thermalite blocks or something. And you could just pick this up, bam, take this with you, put it somewhere. It's a bit deep to be, say, general clips or wagos or screws for it, but you know what? I like it. As I said, I'm not quite sure what we use it for yet, but I like it. I like the idea. Also easy to pour out, easy to sort, easy to put back. A lot better than 100 tools just shoved in one hole, which is uh, another video that YouTube banned. We won't talk about that anymore. On the back, we got this. I'm not quite sure what that's for, if I'm honest. I probably should have gone on. The only thing I could think it's for, which probably makes sense now I'm saying it, is your hacksaw. So put the handle in there, put the blade in there, close it up, your hacksaw is gonna be dangling down there. Nice reinforced back, so that's gonna save it from bashing or bumping things. Um, on the front, we've got a pocket maybe for your regular drill bits, hole saws, we're going through wood, uh, five, five bits, six bits, seven mil bits for your SDS or your hammer drill. Some other pockets on the side. I tend to use the ones on the side for little things like my aerial stripper, re-threading tool. This is on my tote bag. I got a set of cutters in there. They're quite deep. One of the problems I have on the side is mine are quite shallow. So I gotta be careful what I put in there. It's gotta be small, light, and not fall out. And occasionally something does get knocked out. I've not lost anything yet, but it's worth bearing in mind. And here you could whack your cutters in, maybe a regular terminal, PH bit or PZ bit, the bits you use the most, and they're just nice and easy to get to on the side, and easy for an apprentice to get. So can you get this screwdriver? It's on the right-hand side of my tote bag. Sounds simple and sounds obvious, but when you've got a newbie, it can be very painful when you send them five times and they get the wrong screwdriver five times. So quite handy just being able to explain exactly where it is, but I'm quite organized and ordered. Um, so yeah, really like the build quality, really like the design, like the look. Just feels and looks solid and I hope Mikey likes it. I know he had a, a bit of a hard on over it when it first came out and the only reason we didn't quite get it is because it was a money thing. But as I say, he's really been busting his balls and earns it. So this is gonna be a nice surprise for him. I'm off Monday on a fire training course in Oldham, um, fire alarms and emergency lighting. So I'm gonna leave this in the office for a little surprise for him. I bet, I'm not gonna tell him who it's for, I bet I get a message going, why the F have you bought this for you? How dare you get one of these? Why didn't you get me one of these? And I'm gonna say that is yours, Mikey. Enjoy.